Hey, it's Bruce from TPC. I'm here today with Travis Irwin. He is our head of purchasing. He is a master's downhill racer who just won a race. I got lucky. Very lucky. Well, you stood at the top of the podium. Some might say it's luck. Some might say it's skill. You ask me, it's because you were running carbon wheels. It's carbon wheels, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. But we're joking. But in all seriousness, carbon downhill wheels are a thing. Yeah, yeah. And some people might ask, why run carbon wheels on your downhill bike? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Uh, you know, carbon, you're gonna spend a lot more, but there's some definite benefits for having carbon wheels. With carbon wheels, they can tune the layup in many ways. So the carbon can be compliant to be able to navigate through those rock gardens without just destroying your arms, but also very stiff. So when you're ripping out of corners, it can prop your bike upright pretty quick. Yeah, I've always felt like carbon mountain bike wheels have a little little zing to them. Sure. When you like pump out of a corner, it's like Yeah, if, yeah. if that, that's how I describe it. Um, and Wait, one more time. Okay. Like, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it sounds like okay. and it feels like. But that also, a rock, <laughs> rock. But the other thing people are concerned about often with carbon is that maybe it's a little fragile, maybe too fragile for downhill. I, I think that's a common misconception is that anything that would damage a carbon wheel is really going to destroy an alloy wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, and with, with carbon, it's not going to dent. You're going to get some consistency out of it. I it, find too that they yeah. stay straight. Yeah, they definitely do. You hit them on stuff, they stay straight, they spin true, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I think we should mention modern carbon wheels, they have really great warranties. Yeah, when you're investing this kind of money and you're pushing it to the limit on some of the gnarliest trails, you want to make sure that you're not going to be spending that money on each run. So uh, the warranties between these manufacturers are just top of the line. Yeah, they're, all of them are pretty much no questions asked, wheel replacement, which kind of skews the equation in their favor a little bit. If you're the type of rider who destroys a wheel, two wheels, three wheels every season, mm -hmm. kind of makes sense. Yeah, and so a lot of the, the question comes to, do you get alloy because of the compliance? Well, now again, like I mentioned, the, the wheels are so tuned, they're able to get that kind of alloy compliance out of a, a carbon wheel, you have a lifetime warranty through these, and then you get the ultra responsive and consistency of a carbon product. And you get bling. And yeah, you're gonna get props. And definitely, yeah, that's always important to me. So we today are gonna take a closer look at three of the top carbon downhill rims that we have. These are definitely some of the best carbon mm -hmm. downhill wheels on the market. Let's start with this one right in front of me right yeah. here. This is the Santa Cruz Reserve 31 DH. 31, that is the internal rim width. Mm -hmm. So this is the widest one we have here right now. It is the wheel used by the Santa Cruz Syndicate. Syndicate team, yeah. Yeah, some really good riders on there. We got the GOAT, mm -hmm. Greg, Greg Minar. Minar. Got Lori Greenland, Nina mm -hmm. Hoffman, Jackson Goldston. This wheel has been proven. It is also the wheel that kind of started the whole revolution with warranties. Yeah, yeah, they were the first to really stand up and say lifetime warranty, regardless of how you use it or abuse it. Yeah. And they're proving it out on the race course. Yeah, and these wheels come with the Fillmore valves. Yeah. If you're familiar, they don't clog. They don't clog. They make it really easy to seat tires. Mm -hmm. So They sell them separately as well. Yeah, I mean, I never thought I'd nerd out on a tubeless valve, but yeah. I think it's pretty cool. This one also comes with the Industry 9 Hydra Hub. Hydra Hub, these are essentially instantaneous. They have a 0.52 engagement, so as soon as you step on the pedals, it yeah. goes directly into the drive. But since we are looking at high-end wheels, they actually all have Hydra Hubs. Yep. Yeah, so let's take a look at this next one over here. We have the Reynolds Black Label 289. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What's Black Label? So Black Label is Reynolds' premium line. Uh, they focus all of their highest materials into this. And again, this is used on the Pivot Factory race team. So you've got Bernard Kerr, Eddie Masters. Matt Walker. Matt Walker, Jacob Jewlett. They've put it through the ringer for years. This one's slightly different because it's got a 28 mil internal channel, so slightly more narrow. I actually prefer this design. It's got a little bit less rolling resistance and I run a slightly narrower tire, a 2.4, both front and rear. It fits my bike really well with mud clearance to boot. Yeah, so these are what you're running on your DH bike. 
So these yeah. are proven winners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think Bernard's uh, proven that more than I have. Yeah. So. Super impressed with this wheel. It's very compliant, so it feels like an alloy wheel. It's got an asymmetrical design. Again, external nipples, so you can true it if you're out there and need some adjustment. These things are just bomb proof. I've hidden everything wrong uh, and I make a lot of mistakes and these seem to keep going no matter what. All right, now if you want the creme de la creme, the most expensive carbon DH wheel, it's this Envy M9 right here. Yeah, so 30 mil inner channel, still with the Hydra hub. One of the pieces with Envy is that they have a little bit deeper section carbon rim and so there, there is a lot of stiffness in the Envy wheel. They also make this very interesting inner track that acts essentially like an insert. Yeah, the uh, protective rim strip. Yeah, it's really cool. It comes over the actual bead of the wheel. Yeah, and so it's very robust. I'm actually running a set of these on my enduro bike and very impressed with the performance. Uh, again, you can feel that this one doesn't have the same compliance that some of the other wheels do. But at the same time, it is bomb proof. It's made to hit all the big hits and more. Yeah, and this one definitely has been proven to be a World Cup winner. Yeah, there's a couple couple yeah. good teams riding this the, one as well. Because uh, the Comensal Muckoff team is running these wheels. Yep. So you got riders like Amari Piron, Miriam Nicole, yeah. Thibaut De Prella. Yeah, so, they know how to ride a bike. Yeah, overall World Cup winners, world champions. Mm -hmm. That is a legit wheel. We should say though that because these are premium carbon downhill wheels, they come in a price, they're all over $2,000. But like we said, you get a lifetime warranty. So smash away. You really, it's a great <laughs> investment. You're gonna put them on several bikes over and over again and they're yeah. gonna last you a long time if I'll you ride like me. If I'll you, tell you, my yeah. Envies, yeah. they're on their fourth bike now. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. Yeah, and I haven't done anything though. I haven't touched them, haven't trued them. They're still so great. I'm probably going to be on my fifth bike soon. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. look at this. I mean, I'm not a skinny Not person. a small dude. <laughs> not a small dude. Yeah, so let us know, would you ride carbon wheels on your downhill bike? If not, why? Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.